Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Charles Young, also known as Open Thoughts. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's T-H-O-T-S dot com. Open first. All right. Um, thing I want to get on today, I want to talk about as things that affects us a lot of the time. And what I want to tell you is that your past does not have to be your future. Now, a lot of the times people bring up our past all the time but never understand what we're doing in our future never care about the present they only care about the past a lot of individuals like the fact that oh like oh you used to drink oh yeah you used to smoke oh you used to have all of them oh yeah and some individuals take that on oh yeah i used to drink oh yeah i used to smoke oh, i have all of them well you got to realize people do change. People change. People evolve. People have different, change their different opinion. We are, don't stay the same. If you, you should be worried about an individual who stays the same. If that person's opinion always stays the same and he never changes and it never converts and it never enlightens, evolves, or, or if it gets worse, you need to really pay attention to that person because that person may need a little help. Now, that's my opinion about that. Now, knowing the fact of a lot of individuals won't achieve what they want to achieve because of what their past is. You know, society puts all these labels on us and these records and these backgrounds and, oh, you, you had probation, oh, you uh, did, you went to jail, oh, you used to be an alcoholic, oh, you used to smoke weed. And some people want to accept you based upon the things that you did in the past. Now, I know some things seem to be unforgivable. But you have to give a person a chance if they're trying to change their life. If a person is honestly, wholeheartedly trying to change themselves, you should really look into that. You should really see. You should know. You would know if that person is telling the truth or not. It, it's just on their face. You can feel their energy if they're truly serious. And you can tell in the first 30 days if an individual is trying to change. If they're trying to change, you see a difference in them. But for those individuals who are in the changing state, don't dwell upon your past when you're going to your future and don't allow people to, to weigh you down and get you discouraged based upon your past. Your past is what happens in the past. The things that we do in the past should not affect us in the future. A lot of the times we watch a lot on TV, especially on TV, is that individuals can do something 10 years ago, can say something that they felt 10 years ago, change their whole opinion about it, uh, uh, um, change their whole opinion about it and people start questioning them about what they said in the past well they changed their opinion they evolved it what's the problem with people evolving and changing who they are and, their, and what they feel at this point in their life if you've been through certain situations you learn differently why would you want a person to still stay the same because if some people still stay the same a lot of us would be in trouble right now and that's the truth. <laughs> a lot of us would be in some real trouble right now. And some of us might be not here, if you know what I'm saying, if people kept their personal belief systems how they used to act. So we need to look at it as a positive thing and we need to encourage change. It's great for us, for us to change. I know society is making a lot of changes and these are changes are not uh, to how I feel is not positive or, or helping us evolve to be great. It's just a lot of extra just wear and tear on us and it's nothing positive it's nothing to help uh, change how society is in a positive way and at the same time we have a lot of changes that are positive a lot of people are changing a lot of people are becoming healthy a lot of people are changing their views and their perception about certain things so when you're going through some certain situation, I learned I had to leave a lot of my past behind because my past was really weighing me down, uh, especially when it came to time and my age and, oh, I wish I would have done it at this age and, oh, I wish I should have stayed with it this. Forget that. It's not about that anymore. It's about today. The more you keep dwelling on your past, the more you'll, you'll never make it to your great future. So leave your past alone. Leave it alone. Let it be what it is. It is what it is. You know, society, they have paperwork to back up the negative things you've done in your past. Okay, well, leave it to that. Let that paperwork be whatever it is. But then change change yourself. Change who you are as an individual. You can change who you are as an individual. Forget about all that stuff. There's a lot of people who had terrible past, and we're watching them on TV right now as multimillionaires. So, in that case... Stop allowing your past to control your future. No matter what the situation is, no matter what the circumstances were, 
you can always change. That's the greatest thing about time is that we can always change. I posted a picture on my Facebook. If you're able to get to my Facebook, as a picture of me, man, I just had a whole bunch of hair. I had, you know, dreads. Just, I, I just had a really depressed look. I was chunky faced. And I didn't look happy, and now looking at me is like completely different. And all I did was change the way I felt and change how I perceived myself and what I was doing and the things I needed to change. And I stopped eating so much out on fast food. I don't like to eat any fast food, really. If I can stay away from it, I will. If I do, maybe it's maybe once, but I'm not eating anything that... I was eating before that was terrible that I knew was bad at the time now I've changed my whole perception about that and I'm learning you know and another thing is is just you know if you are trying to get into that big limelight just be very cautious of what you say because you never know when that's going to change or what what you may see to change it but at the same time if you don't feel that it, you're going to feel any difference about it you're going to say what you're going to say regardless so, and then time will tell whether you still feel that way about that opinion. So, stop allowing your past to affect your future. Because if you continuously let your past affect your future and it's not in a positive way, you will never make it to the greatest part of you. And the last thing I want to say is individuals, learn that a person's past is a person's past. You are never great at everything you've done. You are never the best. You're never the, the most amazing. I like one thing I really don't like is the fact that people get on kids who sag and they're just kids and they sag in their pants. Well, they just only follow on what they see on their TV and we beat them down and we talk about them and we degrade them and we say all these negative things about them and they're just kids. They're just kids. Why are you beating them up so much? You were negative. You did stuff. I'm tired of people getting on people who smoke marijuana and making these laws that don't, that they know they broke before they got to the position of power that they did. You were not perfect. You were not a perfect person. And stop beating up these kids for not fitting to your standards and what your society used to think. Okay? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Stop condemning them. They're just kids. Learn that they're just kids and they're going to make mistakes and they're going to have their trends and they're going to find, try to see what's cool and what's exciting to them. Don't beat them up about it. Let them follow who they are and don't, don't judge them about it because look at your past. Think of the things you did. I remember my pops, he told me this one thing is very interesting. My pops like 6'3", you know, he's like 320. And he told me, like, yeah, man, we used to go out to the club, wear the tight pants, and go have a good time. And the first thing I thought was, wearing tight pants. <laughs> you know, I'm seeing the 6'3 guy talking about that. You know, I'm looking at, you know, this present guy, not his past, but he said he wore tight pants in his day. So you can't really beat up these kids when you know you was doing it, too. You did something that your parents didn't like as well. So, listen, don't let your past be your present. All right, so thank you. Follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's open, T-H-O-T-S.com. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. It's going to be in the link below. And you have a good one. Peace.